Hello, welcome back to my tech farm. This is Soval SP06 Plus. I presented it a few days ago and it has a problem and I uh, want to fix it in this video. And in the meantime, I noticed that other popular YouTubers uh, share my opinion actually. And uh, from Joel from Sid the Printing Nerd, I even learned some new English words. <laughs> uh, ne negligent. Negligent. Yes, thank you. And uh, strain relief. <laughs> okay. So anyway, I, I want to fix it. I will show you my solution. I'm sure that others will come up uh, with different, better solutions soon. But uh, I want to fix this on uh, this printer as soon as possible. So first of all, uh, I'm a mechanical engineer. I want to, don't want to teach um, electronics, but uh, definitely, I mean, wires uh, must be fixed near the terminal. So it is very dangerous that when um, the wire is moving very near the terminal because it may be loose and if the contact is not good, high current wires, uh, there we may have a higher temperatures, sometimes maybe even a spark. So definitely, first uh, 20 millimeters I want to be fixed on this wire and uh, for this I will use uh, this CD printed part. I printed this from carbon fiber ESA. It is very close to the heated bed, okay, so don't print from PLA definitely. Um, theoretically, if you don't go above 70 degrees Celsius, you can print it from TETG, but you have high temperature printers probably, and uh, you can print it from ASA, ABS. A uh, good solution would be uh, cement, uh, PC blend, for example, or polymakers, uh, nylon filaments, but for that you need a hardened nozzle. Anyway, it's very easy printing. You can print it even on the open air. Uh, you don't need an enclosure. And uh, let me show you my method then. First of all, power off, of course, and uh, unplug the power cable. So this is their solution. This is a zip tie, which only holds it uh, in the this position one point, but it can completely rotate around it. And it moves here around the terminals from the bottom. Now, fortunately, I cannot remove this plastic because it is screwed, but the screws are below this magnetic base. So uh, my solution will be fixing this to this hose here. These are tools which I will use. The most important is the printed part. And I will need uh, two pieces of uh, M3 by 12 bolts and nuts and uh, four washers. And these zip ties, they are included in the sewers kit. And somehow we have to extend a little bit that hole, so you can use the fire tool or I will use this 3mm drill. So I want to use these two holes for the fixing, but uh, they are just a little bit uh, below 3mm, so I cannot use with M3 bolt. So I want to extend these, uh, these holes, but be very careful, don't damage the wires. I'm adding some insulation tape on part which will be holded by zip tie. Placing the cables between two bolts. Placing the washer and the nut from the top. Moving the printer to a side so I can tie the screws from the bottom. Finally fixing the position with two zip ties. And quick testing and looks much better now. Well, this was my solution, which actually works for me. And I will leave it as it is now because uh, I'm sure that others will come out with uh, probably better solutions too very soon. Uh, you can download this STL file from the printables. So I will place the link down in the description. And soon I will have another similar video fixing SV04. There is also a very big problem. Uh, the position of the tensioner is not aligned with the belt. They place it in the center as usual we see the printers, but here we have two beds and it has, has to be aligned with the bed. Otherwise, if you place a tension, uh, you will place an angle on that uh, shaft where the pulley is, which holds the belt. And I noticed this by wearing of the timing belt. I let the server know about this problem. They just told me that used other flange bearings or something like that, but no, the solution is the position of that hole and the tensioner must be aligned with the bed. I will prepare a solution for this and uh, there will be a separate video about that. If you have some other experience or suggestions, you know, few lines in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing!